Hey, this is Chris from Guitar Me. This lick is from my course, Must Know Rock Guitar Licks, that is available at guitarme.net and Skillshare. The links for the course are also in the description if you're interested. Have fun with the lick. So for this lick number four, I think this is a really fun lick. It takes a little while, I think, to get the picking down, but once you do, uh, this picking can be extremely useful, uh, not just with this lick, but just many, many other types of licks. So this lick is out of E minor. We have here our E minor pentatonic. So what I what I did here is what I'm I'm basing this on uh, the first measure is uh it's an it's a c major chord c e g and that would be your flat six chord in the key of e minor and so what i'm doing here is i'm going just doing that four times uh, so it's straight 16th notes one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a so how i'm picking this for the first beat of the first measure I'm picking up I'm gonna pick up on that 15 then I'm gonna pull off to 12 and then I'm gonna pick down on 13 on the second string and then down on the first string 12th uh, fret so I'm going pick up pull off down down Uh, this may seem like this doesn't make sense. Why are we picking up on a downbeat? I was always taught to pick down on a downbeat, especially with 16th ago. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. It's because when once this gets going faster, once you get going faster, it makes sense to be picking up so that I can go, uh, picking-wise, I can go down, down, up, down, down, up. So we're going to start with the up and go up, down, down. And we're going to do that one E and uh, uh, it's basically a, a really efficient way to pick this lick. You can, uh, you know, you can do it any way you want. I'm just letting you know to get it up to speed, you're going to need a, a quick, efficient way of uh, picking, and this is a, a great way to do it. Because it just feels like I'm just going down, up, down, up, and being able to do the lick. Alright, so for the first measure, I'm doing, it's a C chord here, C, E, G, C, E, G. Do that four times. Then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to outline a D major triad, D, F sharp, A. So it's the exact same thing we did down here. We're just going to move it up two steps to uh, 17, 14, 17, 14, and 15. So you just do this one. Slide it up two frets. All right, and then for the last measure, I'm outlining an E minor triad, E, G, and B. Um, so I'm I'm starting on the, the 19th here. I'm pulling away to 15, then picking down on 17, and then down on 15. So I think I started maybe using this finger, but I think uh, because it's a little bit of a spread here, you're definitely going to want to use your uh, second finger. Uh, so think when with this lick where I was going with this is think Metallica. Uh, if you play a lot of Metallica songs, uh, he likes to he does this specific lick in uh, you know I'm not exactly sure which song, but uh, I can remember I just m mentally I logged oh that's pretty cool he's outlining the flat six chord this C then he's going to the flat seven chord D major then he's going up here to the root the one chord. I just thought that was a really smart way to, to run those arpeggios. So you can actually take this, this logic here, like if I'm doing a, a, this C major, C, E, G. Uh, you know, that's something I could use for a C major chord. Um, if it's going to be C minor, because this is the root, third, and fifth. If I wanted to do something over C minor chord, I could lower this E here down to an E flat, or this third down to a flat third. So here's major. Here's minor. If I wanted to do, I'm just thinking of the, the four different types of triads. So here's major again. 
if I had to play do something over an augmented, which is one, three, sharp, five, it would be that one, three, sharp, five. It was If it was a, a C diminished chord, I could go one, flat three, flat five. So I could do major, minor, augmented, diminished. So just this little this little picking pattern, uh, and just a little bit of understanding of how to create or what what your notes are in your different types of triads, uh, this becomes uh, very useful. Uh, if I have to play something over G major, A minor, about B major, you know you just have to know where the root is. When I say G, this is the note he, G here, so I'm uh, creating that leg based off the G major one three five triad. So the point of me telling you that is uh, just because you're learning this lick, it doesn't mean you only have to play it there. You can use that technique and use it all over the place. I was going to include this lick as a must-know rock lick, or uh, but then I realized it's the exact same picking that I'm doing here, from going up, pull off, down, down. Uh, this is certainly a, a cool rock lick here. I guess it is a little different. No, it's the same thing. Uh, so I can do that here. Or I can, let me slow it down. Or I can move it over and do it over here. Which sounds super cool. Uh, but since I realized it's the exact same picking pattern, that if you get uh, lick number four down, you're going to be able to do a lot of different, you can kind of do that pattern. You can do that picking pattern all over the place. Uh, so that was lick number four. If you like this guitar lesson and you'd like to see more, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also make sure you click that notification bell so that you know when I come out with new videos. Thanks for watching.